the Parklands project for the launch of Gold Coast Open House 2016. The Governor of Queensland is here to launch the event and we caught up with one of the co-chairs, Greg, to find out a little bit more about what we can expect at Open House this year. This year we've got um, some new build, well, some new old buildings. Uh, we've got some uh, bigger buildings, and we've also got some, yeah, very special buildings available to the public to come and have a look uh, behind the scenes. What are some of the highlight buildings we've got this year? Well, starting at the top, we've got some big uh, buildings. We can get behind the scenes at Metricon. We can get behind the scenes also at Seabus Stadium. So the chance to go and see what the players see and uh, you know get in behind is actually a great opportunity for the public. Uh, we've also got the Gold Coast University Hospital is uh, is also open to the public again getting behind the scenes to see, well, maybe not everything, but a few of the things that go on there, um, not too much. Uh, also, this, this facility here, which is only just emerging, and this is a great story for the future of the Gold Coast as well. So, so what can people see right here? Uh, on the day, I believe we're going to be able to have a look at one of the display apartments that's here, so uh, which will be a very rare opportunity, and um, given that there's a way to go on the construction, it's, it's quite a rare treat. And, so. of course, hot tomato opening. And hot tomato, again, again, fantastic. And that was very popular last year too, so those sorts of places to get into... Uh, see some of the industries that we have on the Gold Coast that you probably don't really think about as well. So yeah. It's a really great opportunity, I guess, for people to go and have a sticky beak. Right? It is, it is, <laughs> and we're all secretly sticky beaks, so it's actually nice to have that chance to, uh, that, you know, the building that you've driven past, you know, every day, and you go, well, I can actually go in there. Some of the interesting ones, too, we've got the Somerville Funeral Home, which sounds mm. a little intriguing, but it's a beautiful old building that wasn't always a funeral home, but uh, that's right on the corner, not far from your offices there, so that's an interesting one to go and have a look at, too. So um, it must have been a huge success. Last year. It was. We had in the end about three and a half thousand people came out on the day um, and over the sort of course. We've also got some other events around it. We have a speaker series this year and a film, um, showing a film as well. There's a Q&A session. So it's really celebrating the stories of the buildings that really define our city. These buildings have you know, all captured a little moment in time and still stand today as a kind of a, a testament to the story of the Gold Coast. So it's a really exciting time for the, you know, to celebrate the city as it, as it evolves. For more information on Gold Coast Open House 2016, visit mygc.com.au.